Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, let's have a look at the Havoc OS 3.11 Android 10 for the LG V30. So as you can see here, this has the November security patch level as of now. And this is the default launcher that it comes with. This is the shady launcher. And it has a few customizations as you can see here. So let me quickly show them to you. As you can see here, there are options of getting notification dots, changing the icon pack or gestures. And now let's move on to the quick setting options. There are a lot of quick setting options here. And you can adjust the number of columns, etc. from here as well. Or you can do it from the configuration center. It also has the smart pixels option, which is pretty neat. And as for the additional features, let's have a look at the configuration center. But before that, let me show you that under the display section, you have a few other options as well. You have the option for enabling the dark theme and styles and wallpaper option is here. As you can see here, you can customize and change it to different things or you can add a custom option. You can change the font size and under the locked screen display section, you can enable always on display. It works pretty well and double tap to wake has to be enabled here. Both of these options were disabled by default, so you'll have to go in and enable them. And from the status bar section, you can see here there are a few customization options here. I will quickly run through them and you can have a look at them yourself. And there are tons of options here. And Havoc is one of the rooms which has one of the most customization features in any custom room, as you can see here. Tons of options. Uh, but do note that the option to display the slider always is not present on this particular room and here is lock screen customizations and you can turn on pocket detection but it is well it takes a while for it to turn off so i keep it off but it works decently well and do note that face unlock does not work here on this version it used to work on the previous version but this time around it does not work and also you cannot change the brightness values here the aod brightness remains same always so that's something to note it could be a bit annoying in the dark because for the dark the brightness is too much for the aod as you can see here and i'll also leave a link down in the description about the well-known bugs that are there in case i forget to mention any of those here you have the option for smart pixels like some people may have an issue with Wi-Fi that could be easily fixed for most people and that will be there in the article down in the description below. So overall this is a pretty feature rich room and it has great customization options. There are tons of options here. You even have a gaming mode here which you can enable and enjoy these hosts of features and you can add apps for the gaming mode. Apart from that this is pretty great room the battery life is good as well as you can enjoy the performance because performance is really good here and much better than what you get on the stock room so as you can see here after turning on the ticker the system UID started that's pretty normal and apart from that one another bug that is specific this room is uh, the brightness is good there's no issue with the brightness what I meant to say is with the vibration even though there is an option to change the vibration here I think that uh, this does not make any difference unlike it does on the pre other rooms so this is an annoying bug that I found on Havoc so this is it for this video if you like it click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more such videos and do not forget to flash google apps if you need those because this room does not come with that i'll see you in my next video bye bye